One hour and we shall be cruising at an altitude of 24,000 feet. Please give your attention to the cabin crew member in front of you for the minor demonstration of safety features of this aircraft. If the cabin pressure changes suddenly, the oxygen mask will drop down in front of you. Sudan.
first time here? No, the second time. Ah, oh, okay. I was here in May. Oh, you're here in May? Yeah. How long were you here last time? Uh, three months. Oh, wow, long time. Busy, yeah. That's true that a lot of tall people live here? Yes. <laughs> they are very tall. <laughs> Even taller than you? Yes. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Hey, so nice to meet you, Rosie. Hey, nice to meet you. So, like the girl can see, I've been now. Hey, so Rosie, nice to meet you finally. <laughs> nice to meet you. So, what was the guy uh, screaming about in the car? Which one? When uh, he drove by. The tuk tuk guy? No, the guy right here. Oh, this one was telling me to tell you to stop taking pictures. Oh, it's not allowed? Yeah, it's not allowed here. What about for you, though? Uh, I'm a local, so I can take pictures. Ah, but a okay. foreigner is not allowed to take pictures. Oh, really? Yeah. All of, just here? Or in the or Everywhere within the country. Oh, wow. So I got to be so careful. Oh, yeah. You have to be very careful because they will arrest you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for that information. You're That's welcome. important. <laughs> so we're going home now, huh? Yeah. All right. Great. So this is Rosie's shop here. Hi. Okay, so I'm just curious, your neighborhood, have you heard any shooting here? Yeah. So there's fighting sometimes in your streets? Yeah, so many things, you know. Uh, Alright. Yeah. Like, have you seen people shooting each other? Yeah. When there is fighting, always people run to get their guns, you know, and start shooting each other. Oh, really? Do you see, you've seen people die too? Yeah. Oh, man. So, hmm. How's the situation this week, though? Or this you last can, week? You can never predict uh, what is gonna happen, you know? Oh, really? It's just like, usually just surprise people, you know? It's all of a sudden. Anytime, yeah. Alright. So I need to be careful. Indeed, yeah, you should. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, there's no flights on the weekend, you know? Yeah, no and flights, yeah. You know that? 
I know. Yeah. How come? It just like the weekend the airport closes? Yes. <laughs> So um, I was thinking I have to either leave on Friday, which is tomorrow, or else on Monday. And I think tomorrow's yeah. too early. Yeah. Yeah. So I was gonna leave on Monday. Mm. So yeah, I'll have to pass the weekend. Uh, but are, isn't weekends more peaceful? No. No, as I said before, you know, you can never predict uh, anything yeah. in this country. Anything can happen anytime, anywhere. Mm. Yeah. Okay. All right. So what do you think? Uh, I was just thinking. Um, like in a hotel could be much better, mm. more safer because they usually have security guards, you know. Mm, yeah, okay. it's more secure. Alright, no, I think it's okay for me here. But what about touring the city though? The what? What about touring the city? <laughs> well, yeah. I, wanna, I understand, like. I want to go, like, look around, see what's around. Yeah, you can go. Yeah, you can. But yeah. Maybe I should find someone to go with, yeah? Yeah. Alright. Yeah. You can't go alone. Don't go alone. You cannot go alone. It's not allowed? It's, not, it's, it's allowed. Not, but it's not safe. Yeah, it's not safe. This country is never safe. <laughs> Anything can happen. Yeah. Okay, so Juba is the capital, but what's the second largest city? We don't have second largest city, apart from Juba. So it's just Juba and villages? Yeah. That's it? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Villages and towns. And towns. Yeah. You don't recommend going to other towns? I don't really. No? Yeah. There's no town that's interesting to visit? It, it, there, are, there are so many, but it's not safe at the moment. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You think the rebels live in the smaller towns outside the city? Mm, I can't really tell, because I, I can't really tell. You're not sure? Yeah, I'm mm. not sure. Well, it's going to be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh, so, a couch? Mm -hmm. And then a bed. Yeah. And some other stuff, but just the room. Mm. That is pretty small, but it's nice. And your kitchen is over here. That's not my kitchen. But it's a shared kitchen? No, it's uh, for my neighbor. I just do some cooking. Oh, so you borrow the kitchen? Yeah, I, <laughs> she's not around. <laughs> oh, okay. This is the bathrooms. Well, Rosie could host me because her landlord said that he doesn't want to be responsible if anything happens to me, even though I was inside a compound, because there's been some killings in the area nearby uh, recently, and it's unsafe here in Juba. So anyways, I had to find another place, so I went down to the hotel, and it cost $90, and the other one cost $70, so I had a rough time, so I called up another couch surfing member who happened to be from Uganda, and he couldn't host because he lives in a compound in staffing accommodations, but he was able to meet up with me, and the hotel that I was at, Dream Palace Hotel, offered to drive me to uh, this place across town, which took maybe 10 minutes, but it was a distance, and he met me here and he found this place. This place is affordable at 150 SSP, which is South Sudan pounds. And that equates to $7.50, but you can only change $100 bills around here. They don't do anything less, and if they do, they give you almost half the exchange rate. So in that case, 150 pounds would be worth maybe 
10 to 15 dollars double it so this is what I got I got a bed mosquito net a fan and then the bathroom which is dark there's no lights in here but there's a squat toilet and then a cold shower here and you'll be able to see more in the daytime but that's all I got right now this guy he's gonna meet me tomorrow at 8 o'clock in the morning so now I'm just gonna sleep get rested and then start my day tomorrow I might just leave tomorrow because it's been too complicated here in South Sudan and Juba because I don't have a host and then you're not allowed to take any photography because that's illegal and you can get put in jail for that so um, it hasn't been a problem for me because my camera broke but I still have my video camera and that's I've been trying to sneak in some videos here and there but it's uh, risky you made sure everything is cleaned with this? Hmm? You made sure everything is cleaned? This one? Yeah. This one? Yeah. This, this. But I saw mosquitoes somewhere. No, outside are no problem. But inside, if they get inside, it is... Big problem. Yeah. <laughs> but they can die with this. Mm, okay. okay. Hey, what about that hole? Huh? What about this hole? The hole? Yeah. Which one? They will not get inside no? at night because they, they cannot uh, manage it to get inside with the holes. All right. Unless when you are getting inside it, they get once. Yeah. That is bigger. They mm, okay. can get you one. All right. Mm. All right, thanks. Okay.